Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim today we are going to uh, have an introductory lesson of organic chemistry first of all we will define what basically organic chemistry is it is the study of the hydrocarbons and their derivatives another definition of organic chemistry it is the branch of chemistry that deals with the study of carbon compounds organic is a word derived from living organisms exceptional cases there are some compounds which have carbon in itself but they are not the organic compounds they are not related with this organic chemistry so if we will see the classification of organic compounds so we must know what basically hydrocarbon is so organic compounds classify into hydrocarbons and hydrocarbons are the compounds which contain only hydrogen and carbon for example ch4 that is the methane another one is ethene that is c2h6 h4 um now another definition which is about the chemistry of carbon before we are going to learn something about the organic chemistry we must know about the chemistry of carbon and two stable isotopes it has c12 c13 it has four valence electrons it can form more compounds than any other element able to form single double and triple carbon bonds and to link up with each other in chains or in rings so continue with the classification of hydrocarbons so it can be saturated hydrocarbons saturated hydrocarbons when a carbon atom is fully occupied by four other atoms due to four single covalent bonds for example alkane carbon carbon single bond so in this structure this ethane molecule carbon is utilizing all the single bonds with rest of the four atoms unsaturated hydrocarbons when a carbon atom is not fully occupied by four other atoms to double or triple bonds alkenes alkynes carbon carbon double bond is present in unsaturated hydrocarbons it may be carbon carbon triple bond here an unsaturated hydrocarbons double or triple covalent bonds are present so this is the difference between saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons now non hydrocarbons which the compounds which contain other elements such as oxygen besides hydrogen and carbon it contain oxygen so for example we have this structure of carboxylic acid where one oxygen is present with rest of carbon and hydrogen atoms similarly alcohol also have oxygen atom in itself another example is of an ester that is ethyl butanoate so these are the examples of non hydrocarbons now we can have a look on the definition of the homologous series homologous series is a family of organic compounds which with with the similar chemical properties because they have same functional group this is the family of organic compounds so so what basically functional group is functional group can be defined as the compounds in each homologous series except the alkenes have the same group of atoms that gives the specific chemical properties for examples if the homologous series are of alkanes alkenes alkynes alcohols and carboxylic acids so these are the families and alkane is one homologous series one family they have no functional group so alkane have carbon carbon single bond and there is no functional group in it but in alkenes we will have carbon carbon double bond in itself so this carbon carbon double bond is the functional group of alkene whenever we will have a look on carbon carbon double bond always we will say this is a group of alkenes and if we will have a look on triple bond between carbon carbon atoms then this will be the functional group of alkyne alcohols always have hydroxyl group that is oh and carboxylic acid have the uh, carboxylic acid has the 
uh, functional group that is C double O H. So how to name the homologous series? This is the way through which you people can memorize how to name a number of carbon atoms will be memorized. Num if one num carbon atom is there, then the name is meth, 2, eth, 3, prop, 4, but, 5, pent, 6, hex, 7, hept, 8, oct, 9, non, and 10, dec, in, dec. So this is the uh, series through which you people can memorize the number of carbon atoms and their initial names. So meth, eth, prop, but are the initial names of the uh, homologous series. So homologous series of alkane, meth is there, N is the ending name or stem name of this homologous series. So methane, one carbon atom, ethane, two carbon atoms, propane, three, butane, four, pentane, five. So here are the formulas through which you can identify the number of carbon atoms in each formulas. Methane has one carbon atom, formula is representing here, ethane has C2H6. All of these homologous series differ when we will move from up to down differ by CH2. Member CH2, the difference between all the formulas is of CH2. So all contains carbon-carbon single bond, they are saturated hydrocarbons. Alkenes, another family, another homologous series, a family of organic compounds. The end name is ethene. Ene at two carbon atoms. So this alkene, the functional group is carbon carbon double double bond. So it will start from the ethene. No methane because in meth one carbon atom present. So methane is not the part of alkene. Ethene with two carbon atoms, propene three, butene four, pentene five, and hexene six carbon atoms. So characteristic property in this table you can see in the structures carbon carbon double bonds are present in it in all the structures you can observe it you can pause the video and memorize all these structures another one as alcohols ol the stem name ol meth the uh, starting one carbon atom methanol one carbon atom Propanol with 3, butanol with 4 and pentanol with 5 carbon atoms respectively. And the functional group is hydroxyl group that is OH. The functional group of alcohol is OH. When we can see the OH with the hydrocarbons, then we will, can identify that this is the group or homologous series of alcohols. So here is the homologous series of carboxylic acids. Carboxylic acid has number of carbon atoms. If one, then it is methanoic acid. So ending name is noic acid, meth one carbon atom. So methanoic acid with one carbon atom, ethanoic acid, propanoic, butanoic, pentanoic. So these are the homologous series according to their respective carbon atoms. Now, if we will discuss the general properties of homologous series, so we can know and identify and can tell that all the members of homologous series, all the families have their respective general formula, its own stem name, a specific functional group except alkane, the difference of CH2 group, same chemical properties, gradual change in physical properties and the same method of preparation. So these are the general properties of homologous series. You can pause the video at different places to memorize all of the um, uh, names of the homologous series and to memorize the structures of the substance. Uh, in the further lessons, we will deeply describe all types of structures of organic compounds and respectively we will consider all the syllabus which is under which comes under the CAIE syllabus. So, consistency is the key of success. Stay blessed. Signing off, Miss Aisha Manzoor.